Hey, Golly, friends and family, it's Joan. I have a special for you, special sale on videos today. It's two for the price of one. So after this video, I'm going to show you a short one that I took while we were in Egypt. We were very near the Valley of the Kings, awesome place. Got to go into a couple tombs. This one was an outside one to um, a female pharaoh. Her name was Hatshepsut. And I tell you a little bit about her in the video. And basically, uh, she was trying to get, find a way to get things her way. And she did, she succeeded. And um, I think the lesson is that uh, it, we should desire what God desires for us. And uh, he doesn't need our help in making that happen. That if he wants something to happen, nothing's gonna stop it. So um, please pause after, not this video, but the next one, and pray that our church family and friends would trust God and be patient with his timing on things and accept that maybe what we want isn't what he wants either. I thank you again. I'm going to thank you up front for joining me. Um, I am humbled. I am honored and thrilled to pieces that you guys choose to watch this stuff. <laughs> I love you, and I'll see you next time I see you. Bye. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Hey, it's Joan again. I am still in Luxor, Egypt. I am at the temple uh, built for Hatshepsut, who was a woman. Um, she was married. To, she was a, a wife of a pharaoh. Let's see. No, 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 no. Her dad was a pharaoh. Sorry. And uh, she hung around a lot with her dad. So whatever dad did, including going into battle, she did. And then Dad died, and Dad didn't have a son, and there was this really convoluted story. Sorry, there's a bunch of flies, but not a bunch, but a couple of flies here biting. Um, convoluted story about how they went ahead and they found a way to allow her to rule because the Pharaoh, of course, needed to be a male with a beard. I mean, they had these rules. So um, she had to be deceitful to get that done, and that. And then the rest of the story is she had to entice other people to be deceitful to make that happen. So she ruled for 20 years. She did a lot of good stuff for the country. She um, instituted import and export, uh, which worked out really well for the country. But I got to thinking, you know, God doesn't need us to be deceitful like that. He'll find a way. She was well qualified to be a leader of this country. And if God wanted her to be a leader... He would have figured it out. He would have made the way. So that's my lesson for today. I hope to see you again soon.